For a thousand of years, humans have been deforesting natural habitats on a massive scale. Expansion of agricultural lands accounts for nearly 80% of deforestation across the globe. The rest are due to forestry practices, wildfires, and urbanization. The process of deforestation involves clearing the forest land by logging for farming, livestock grazing, mining and drilling operations, slash and burn agriculture, oil extraction, and other development and population expansion. On the other hand, the natural causes are forest fires, droughts, hurricanes, flooding, and parasites. According to the quantitative analysis of nature.com, 2.3 million kilometers of forest were destroyed between the years 2000 and 2012. If deforestation is still continued, forests will most likely disappear in 100 to 200 years. Amazon, Indonesia, Borneo, and Africa are just some of the regions that have reached an alarming rate of deforestation. Amazon rainforest in Brazil is home to the largest tropical rainforest in the earth with 390 billion trees and extensive river basin. Total of 4,281 square miles of the rainforest were destroyed due to deforestation. Trees were cut down in order to create fields for cattle grazing and soil cultivation. This has increased to an alarming rate of 9.5% compared to year 2019. The rich greens of the most vibrant habitat on Earth. The billions of trees store so much carbon, they help to slow down global warming. They're also home to an amazing tenth of all species in the natural world. Some unnerving. Others adorable. But the sight of bare earth and dead trunks is becoming more common, with huge tracts of forest wiped, wiped out. My footsteps and distant bird song are the only sounds. It's tragic to see this close up. To bring these trees down to the ground and just knock them over with a bulldozer. This is happening all over the Amazon to create new farmland. And the result is that the great forest has never been under such pressure. Over the decades, field by field by field, many trees have made way for agriculture. But that's set to speed up because of a massive push for development. The new president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, was elected on a promise to exploit the Amazon. He's delighted his supporters by saying too much of the forest is protected. His environment officials are deeply worried, but he's banned them from saying anything in public. What are the adverse effects of deforestation and degradation? Deforestation is a threat to biodiversity as it creates a long-term adverse effect in the entire ecosystem and human population. Cutting and burning down trees contribute to greenhouse gas emissions, which result to changes in weather and water cycles. It is also responsible for the changes in precipitation and river flow. How can we put an end to deforestation? There are no silver bullet solutions in this complex problem. As the global population continues to grow, the demand of food supply increases. Forests are converted to farmland and large land for animal grazing and producing agricultural products such as soy and palm oil. Global effort is needed to mitigate deforestation and degradation. For example, large corporations and companies should implement zero deforestation and maximize the use of recycled products. Intervention from the government 
is also needed by creating laws and policies that will protect our forests and raising the citizens' awareness by creating sustainable livelihood programs. Making sustainable choices by consuming less and eating sustainable food as well as reducing single-use products consumption. Through the human population's collective effort, we can put an end to deforestation and degradation which will help preserve our wildlife and forest communities. This will also make the earth a better place to live in. This has been Kathleen Sangalang from UP Open University and I hope that you're able to learn something about deforestation. Thank you for watching.